measurement of the urinary bladder volume is to have a full bladder the patient should lie in supine position the convex probe to be used with a frequency of 3 to 6 megahertz the method is to acquire a transverse plane for the measurement of the width and depth and then the longitudinal image which will provide the measurement of the length the volume should be calculated in pre and post maturation statuses when the urinary bladder is full it is defined as a square structure within the bladder the trigon is the area containing the ureteric orifices the ureteral orifice marks the bladder neck at least 200 ml of fluid or urine must be in the bladder to make urodynamic flow rate study accurately normal post wide residual volume is less than 12 cc in almost 100 percent of patients while it is lesser than 5 cc or ml in almost 78 percent of patients if the post wide residual volume is more than 50 cc it is considered clinically significant it is recommended that if the post widening residual volume is more than 100 cc the patient may be asked to retry widening and re-examine for the post wide residual volume it is highly recommended that a significant post wide residual volume more than 200 cc will not be treated or respond to the medications this is the image the probe is lying in the suprapubic region that is a transverse image the bladder is full and in such when the bladder is full it will appear like a square this is almost appeared like a square and in this image we are measuring the width from this point to this point and the depth from anterior to posterior or from the near to the far regions this image is longitudinal image the probe is lying here the bladder is full and this is used for the measurement of length from here to here how to calculate it is very simple we should multiply the width the depth and the length in centimeter and that will be multiplied by 0.52 the result will show the volume in cc centimeter cube because we are taking all these three diameters in centimeter so the centimeter into centimeter into centimeter will be equal to the centimeter cube i hope this short video will be helpful to the newcomers or to the abc student of ultrasounds thank you